In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform the t-test to sample assuming unequal variances tool. What this tool does is compute a t-value between means for two independent measures when the variances for each group are, are unequal. So this is known as an independent or unpaired samples t-test. So we have two distinctly separate groups of people that are being compared or two separate groups of scores that are being compared. So in this case, the data that we have here are body fat percentages for a group of non-sedentary uh, workers, and then we have a group, we have body fat percentage for a group of sedentary workers. So we want to try and see if there's a difference in body fat percentage between these two groups of individuals, two separate groups of individuals. So first what we want to do is go to the data tab, and then select the data analysis option, <clears throat> and then we want to find the t-test for two samples assuming unequal variances. Highlight that. Click OK. First thing we need to do is enter in the range of data for our first group of individuals. So in this case that's going to be our non-sedentary employees. We'll click Enter or Ref Edit. We want to enter in the second variable score set of scores. So we want to highlight these and click enter. We want to make sure we click the labels box and again we can choose the alpha level that we want to use. In this case we're going to stick with the 0.05 level. And then we want to choose our output range, in other words where we want the output table to be placed. In this case we're going to choose uh, E2 and click the ref edit button. And then we can click OK. And so here's our table, and again we can spread this out a little bit so we can see a little bit better what each of the columns is telling us. And so here we can see the mean for the non-sedentary group was 11.2 and the mean for the sedentary group was 18.5. And the t-statistic that was calculated was negative 4.02 and the p-value associated with that at the one-tailed level was 0 0.0001 and the p-value associated with that at the two-tail level was 0 0.0003. So in both cases here, whether we're doing a one-tailed or a two-tailed test, typically we do two-tailed tests, we can see here that the, the t-score that we calculated exceeds the critical value and the p-value associated with that t-score is less than our criti our uh, p-value that we set at the beginning of 0.05. So both these values are less than 0.05. So in this case we can reject the null hypothesis and say that these two groups of scores are significantly different from one another at the p less than 0.05 value. So in other words the non-sedentary individuals have a significantly lower body fat percentage than the sedentary individuals. And what this has done for us is corrected for the fact that the variance within each of these true groups is unequal. In other words, there's more variability in one group compared to the other, but we can still make a fair comparison using this, this particular test. So hopefully you've learned something in this video, and good luck using this technique on your own.